Hey guys, it's Gareth again at Cosmic Toys, your one and only Cosmic Toy Man. I'm back at you with a weekly roundup of purchases and trade-ins. Now, I have a little bit of a problem this week, and it's a problem that I knew was going to come up when I started doing these weekly What Did I Buy videos. And that problem is, I've hardly bought anything this week. There's been one lot in of um, graphic novels and it's quite a small pile of graphic novels and I'm fairly sure it would make for a very boring video. However, Cosmic Toys has been going for ooh, about 16 years now. And in those 16 years, um, there's been a lot of times where things have come in, lots have come in and I've not had a chance to sort them or the shop's just been bursting at the seams and I haven't had anywhere to put them. Um, so they get stored away for slower times. Uh, so I actually still have some stuff to show you, hopefully some really cool stuff, um, but it's stuff that I probably don't even remember buying. So with any luck, there'll be some great stuff amongst it. But either way, that means that this week, I get to take part in the fun of finding out what I've bought, along with you guys, as you're watching. <laughs> uh, so, I get to take part in the fun with you. So, shall we take a look and see what I might have unearthed? Come on then, let's have a look. Now then, here we are. There's a bit of a new setup today. I've created a little bit of a studio. Just waiting on some better lights to come in, but we'll see how we get on with these. So, for, as I said in the little intro there, the, for, the only job lot I took in this week were some graphic novels. So we'll, we'll get started with them. There's a Batman, the Dark Designs. Uh, it's fairly modern one, is that? It's fairly up to date. Uh, featuring Punchline, who's a, the new girlfriend of the Joker. So that's that one. I did say on the back there, Volume 1. So I don't know if there's a Volume 2 out yet. There's also another modern today Batman story, Joker War. Same writer I notice as well. James Tinian the fourth. This one says volume two on the back of it, so maybe um you've got Batman Volume One and Two there. I should know this being a comic shop owner, but I tend not to follow modern comics. Uh, we've got a couple of Black Panthers. Black Panther the complete collection. This one is, and I've just dropped a book. This one is uh, volume two. And I believe it will be. I, mean, it's, I, I thought this was going to be more traditional art. I don't know when that's from. Is that 90s? That looks like 90s. No idea, it doesn't say. Yeah, it does. 98. Black Panther run of 98. So it's late 90s. We've got volume 2. I'll leave a gap because there's going to be a volume 3 that's going in there. That's not the the one that fell. <laughs> oh, there's an awful light reflection there, isn't there? There we go. I'll hide it. <laughs> so there we have Complete Collection Volume 3. And again, I'll tell you there what's What's in it? It's the one that follows straight on from from that one. Uh, another Batman here. Night of Owls. Now, if you remember when uh, DC was rebooted for the New 52, it shows you there. Uh, the Court of Owls was the first story that was in the Batman series. It was really, really good. And this is what went off in all the other Batman tie-ins associated with that story. So you have the Terminator, Nightwing, there was the Batgirl comic, I think there was the Catwoman comic, Detective Comics, Batwing, Birds of Prey, Batman and Robin. That, what happened during the Court of Owls is all in this volume. Uh, another Batman one in Darkest Night. 
if I'm thinking, it's an Elseworlds, I'm thinking this is if Bruce Wayne got the Green Lantern ring. I love some of the Elseworlds comics. They're absolutely fantastic. Some of them were utter rubbish as well. <laughs> that can't be gone and said. Oh, we've got another Black Panther as well. Hardcover. Who is the Black Panther? I'm thinking that's probably the earlier issues from that run. We'll do a bit of a zoom out now so we can put that there now the one that I dropped on the floor is American Vampire by Scott Snyder it's by Vertigo another DC imprint That was all those graphic novels that came in. Now I did have a charity shop pick up. We went out to York on Sunday. I was hoping to do a bit of filming while we were there and show it off to you, but I just, I, I didn't feel it when I got there. I didn't think there was anything worth sharing with you all. So I didn't. But I did get me on the charity shops and I picked up three mangas. Dance in the Vampire Bund. What's a bund? Do we know what a bund is? Now, I don't know if it should be flipped through this one, judging by that image on the back and the older teen warning. It might be best if I don't flick through that one. I hear a lot of my audience members through the camera, so I'm like complaining already. So it was volumes one, two, and three of Dance in the Vampire Bond. Yeah, I think probably for the best not to flick through that one. Oh, it's got wicked vampire action in it, apparently. Now, I had another trade-in. After I filmed the intro, I did have another trade-in. Not a huge one, but at least it's something to share with you. Um, there's a, a Deadpool graphic novel, seems as we're sticking with the reading material right now. This one should be a little safer to flick through, shouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know if I'd trust Deadpool to fly me around. Oh, he's driving, I thought he was flying. You got a bit of everything in there. Yeah. We have a Batman figure, DC Icons Batman. Let's see which one, where this one's from. Rebirth Renaissance. We've got Battle Droid, Star Wars Black Series Battle Droid. This was bought from me. Still got my price tag on it. <laughs> I'm sure it's been out on some. Cool adventures. I know for a certain these ones have. Force Awakens, Black Series. I think this one's a bootleg actually. I think this one's um, a, a knockoff or however you want to call it. Um, but I know that before coming in here these went out on some brilliant adventures. They do, both of them, come with their weapons. Sticking with the Black Series, a Kylo Ren. Oh, this one's a Last Jedi Kylo Ren. Imperial Death Trooper.
Well, I'm liking this for standing the figures up. It's working so much better. And again, it comes with both his weapons. We have a Ghostbusters Select Janine figure. I'm not even going to try and stand her head up, she's got those high heels on. They don't work for real women, let alone toys. <laughs> oh, we've got a Marvel Universe Wolverine figure. Uh, Marvel Universe being the much smaller scale. Three, three 3.75 inch, I think. Oh, we go. We'll just lean him up. I think I'll be there all day trying to get him to stand. And a same size or scale Harry Potter figure. He's got a tiny little paint chip on his nose. We've got the child Black Series figure from the Mandalorian. I'm going to open this one up just because I can see that inside the box the arms have come off. And. I want to see whether or not they're going to go back on easily or not. Let's see if they do. Am I even putting them all the right way around? I suppose they're interchangeable. It doesn't have a portable digits, does he? Does he? It, it, it doesn't, does he? It's like three stumpy. It's almost like three thumbs. Yeah, there we go. His arms are in. Pop him down there with his lunch and his little bowl. Now, as I said, that that's all of it. That's all that was traded in this week, which would make for a very boring, very short video. Right? Okay, we're done. Yep, that's it. We're done. No. I have stuff that um, I can show you that came in a long while ago. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars references. The first thing out of the box is Star Wars. Everyone's had these, haven't they? But is this one complete? It, oh, it's even got the force card. It is complete. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's complete. If it's got that, it's bound to have the, the Tazzers, isn't it? This, believe it or not, was my in to Star Wars. I was never interested in Star Wars as a kid, but I liked crisps. <laughs> I quite like crisps. Uh, so I ended up getting a load of these and I collected them. And my mum, then thinking that I collected Star Wars because I was collecting these, started buying me Star Wars collectibles. And I'd never even seen the films. My story of Star Wars came from this. How mad is that? That's complete so far. The last ten of the rare ones, because they were only in, yeah, they were only in Doritos. Got. There's the first six, and the last, yeah, it is a complete set. Excellent. Now, I do notice there's a red dot on the back of all these. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why. But yeah, so we've got a complete set of Tazos there. Star Wars Tazos. What else is there? Oh, let's stick with the Star Wars theme then. Go on then. A Revel Slave 1 model kit. Now the box is open on this. Is it being built? It doesn't look like it's being built. I don't even remember this coming in. Well, that's certainly not being built, has it? Instructions and an empty box. Can go on the model shelves. Or do I put it with the Star Wars stuff? <gasps> dun dun dun! It'll go with the models. They always go with the models. 
Uh, that seems to be a bit more Star Wars in here. We've got a, a weaponless Princess Leia. Off the top of my head, I cannot see which particular line that came from. However, this is Kenner, not Hasbro. 97. I think that's from the two pack that had Luke and Leia in it. I think Luke was in his ceremonial outfit, Yavin outfit. Hmm. We have a Stormtrooper. Is this one from the Force Unleashed video game? I think it is. Again. Oh, there's no date underneath that. Was it on the back of the leg? 2005. Would that be around? about right? They probably used the, the same mould though, didn't they? We have a protocol droid. I've not seen this one with the gold on it before. That's... I don't think it's custom. I think it's intentional. It's under the feet, so it probably is. 2007. You know that um, Black Series one actually looks fairly enough to scale with these, doesn't it? We have another droid, Death Star droid. Sorry, I'll show you it, I'll show you it. Yeah, Death Star droid. And can someone in the comments tell me who this one is? Oh, Death Star droid just died. Any ideas? I don't recognise that symbol. It's obviously expanded universe, so it's from probably from a comic that I haven't read. 2007, back in the days when Hasbro took risks and made figures that no one expected them to make. There we are. And I'm guessing that's his weapon. Another droid, this was from the 30th anniversary collection. It's R2B1. It comes with the coin. Cool. It's always a cool one to have, isn't it? Any, any of the droids are cool ones to have, aren't they? Oh, these are cool. Two of them as well, two of the same ones. Cassettes, Batman, the Funhouse of Fear, Teletale. So these are from back when you would get a children's picture book with just a few lines per page and a cassette of a reading of that book. Very cool. Cassettes are starting to become a little bit more retro and sought after again. So there's two of them. Two of those. In there. Excellent. What else is in this box? Ooh. Oh, we've, we've got Ghostbusters. What are you going to call? Oh, well, he's hanging off there. I don't know if he comes with it. But Playmobil. We've got um, a little motorbike type thing. And Winston, who just died. There we go. I don't know if it comes with that. These are all just in a bag together, so I, think, I don't know. This vehicle type thing, is that? Yeah, it's this, another little vehicle. Oh, good the tires on the wing. That's one of the ghosts. Oh, we've got another Janine. <laughs> we have another. I'm assuming these will go with those weapons, those vehicles. Maybe. Tell me, tell me in the comments. Got some kind of water vehicle, some kind of jet ski. And when I took it out of the bag, he was old enough for dear life, was that octopus? <laughs> I don't think he's meant to be riding it, but I'm fairly sure it came packaged with it. A really cool looking ghost there. Skeleton. Neon green yellow skeleton. I like that. <laughs> we have a pretty cool zombie ghost type thing. That's awesome. And we have the instructions for the water one. 
and more weapons for it. I'm assuming that's complete. I haven't checked them. <laughs> I didn't even know I had them. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, Show my thought process there. That came out the box, and I was like, "What on earth is this? Don't know what that is." But then underneath it was this one, and I recognised the dart straight away. So these these are Bub Effect gauntlets from Star Wars. Obviously, child size. That's pretty cool. On off. Oh, oh it does something. It's a vacuum cleaner. That's how Bob Effect cleans up his. I'm gonna turn it off. That's how Bob Effect cleans up the slave one. That's it too. Oh. Ah. Okay. Is it there? Yeah. It does. I don't know if that, the camera caught that, but it fires out discs. It forms plastic discs. But right, I'm going to turn off this over now. It's a uh, bit loud. There's another disc in there as well. So it's got three of them in there. That's pretty cool. Does the other one do anything? No, the other one doesn't do anything. I suppose it couldn't really fire a dart at someone, could it? There we go. Although that would be fun. So, I've got a couple of um, Futurama Kid Robot figurines. What's in here? Well, they're the ones that it could be, anyway. I guess see what might be in there. I have no idea. You, 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 you think about it. There is. Is that a clue? I've never watched Futurama. Is that a clue? As to what's in there? I guess it must be. <laughs> is that some kind of rabbi? <laughs> a zombie rabbi or something? Oh, a rabbi that's been out on the, um, is it Caleb? It's been out on the pop. <laughs> so, what could this one be? Tim wants it that one. Hey, it is a zombie as well, yeah. Oh, Chanukah. Chanukah zombie. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I, oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I've shown you that, didn't I, on the last one? There's another side as well. Right, okay, so in this box, do you reckon it's going to be one of those? Oh, do you reckon it's going to be one of those? Place your bets now! Odds are given there. But I don't pay anything out. <laughs> see. Ah. It's that one. What's that one? One Quanzabot. Quanzabot? Quanzabot. One in twenty-four. Oh, it comes with it comes with a book or a comic or something. Cool. I'm assuming they're cool, I don't know. Are they popular characters? Oops. I've never I've never seen the show. Are they good? Are they brilliant? Are they the best? Are they rubbish? We interrupt your viewing today to bring you this important message. In this digital age we live in, it's quite important to have an online presence. And it's just as important that your presence stands out from everyone else's. But do you know how to design your own website? Do you know how to even design your own logo? No? Well that's what McDog's Designs are here for. McDog's Designs will design your website, your logo, your printed media, and so much more. And even better, they can do it to a budget that suits you. But why, out of all of the companies out there, should you choose McDuck's Designs? Well, for starters, they're a small UK-based company with your interests at heart. They aren't some big overseas-based company that don't care about you or your business or your product or your services. 
Secondly, McDog's designs will work with you to make sure you get exactly what you want from them. And mostly, well, because I know them. I recommend them. And I don't go to bat for just anyone. I only do it for the good ones. The ones that deserve it. So check them out at mcdogs.co.uk Now then, what are these? Our War, World War II. German Wehrmacht Assistant Gunner. Oh, the higher toys! I hire toys. So these are the guys that do the um, like the, the Predator figures and the Robocop figures and all sorts of other stuff for uh, aliens for um, previews, for Di Diamond Comic previews type thing. Mm hmm, interesting. Same scale as well. Same scale. Uh, where to put them? Go there for now. There's three of them. Now let's see, we've got a machine gunner and rifleman here, so we've got an assistant gunner, a machine gunner, and a rifleman here. Pretty cool, aren't they, I suppose? Not my normal bag. Maybe I'll try and sell those as a set of three. Um, what do we have here? We have a submarine of some kind. North oh, Northumberland! Ah, okay. That's um that's by Ertel, Theodore Tugboat. There we are, it's got eyes. I thought it would have. Yes, yeah, so obviously on the coming out of the success of Thomas the Tank Engine back in the the eighties, they wanted to try and push it, so when we got was this nineties? Yeah, ninety eight is it. When you got into the nineties they tried to ride it out, we had, we'd already had Budge the little helicopter from um Oh, I forget who did it, but they, they, they were they did sort of like aeroplane version of Thomas the Tank Engine. Then we got Theodore Tugboat, where they did um, boat versions, water-based versions of Thomas the Tank Engine. You could say where they all had faces, they, all the characters talked and everything. Uh, yeah, that's the submarine from from that show. Oh, ooh. oh, ooh. Look what we have here. And the masters of the universe! Another bag of vintage masters of the universe figures. No, I ain't even gonna waste my time trying to stand these up because they've got those bandy leg things and they don't like standing. Right, so we've got a Fisto. Fisto? There's all the power of a fist. We have. Oh, I can't show you this one. It's naked. We have a, I'll, I'll, I'll cover up his um, nipples. <laughs> we have a naked man at arms. <laughs> we have a spike or. Wow, oh, isn't it too bad? Is it too bad? I think it's too bad, isn't it? We have Gwildor! One of the few figures that they actually released based on the movie. He stands up. He's got fat feet. What's this one? Oh, I don't know what this one is. Someone tell me what this one is. He's got a wheel in his gut, so I'm guessing he could lay down. You have a rip card? Uh, that'll have been a rip card there, won't it? Yeah. And then zoom. Yeah, okay. Got the Hordak um, symbol there. That is Hordak, isn't it? Is that Cyclone? I think that's Cyclone, isn't it? We have a Grizzlaw. Got no belt. This guy is really clawful. Mm -hmm. I went there, I did that. Yeah. Terrible joke. 
we have a Cobra Khan. This is Cobra Khan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's Cobra Khan. Who's this one? Oh. Yeah. Probably more maybe slightly more sought after one in this bundle. Clips are gone there though, aren't they? It's a shame. Oh, it's a shame. Oh well, there he is. What's this one? It's just one of the new adventures of he man, it is, isn't it? 88, yeah, I'm sure that New Adventures is that one. Okay, cool. Right, that's it for the team. And what else is in here? Oh, we have a random wrestling figure. The Undertaker. That's nothing to get excited about. There's a flame accessory. I don't have a clue what that goes to. It doesn't go to any of these, does it? A retro Hoth layer. It's security protected. She's being well looked after. She is protected. We have a wrestling belt. Yeah, look. Oh, wow, the Velcro's actually on there. It works great stuff. Love the jump. Oh! Don't know what that's supposed to do, but it's not doing anything right now. Oh, it is! Oh, wow! Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We have a light up jingle jangle fart making wrestling belt. I had no idea it did that. Okay. I suppose that's cool. And then we have a light up of clothing. I think it's. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, that's quite cool. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. It's size large. <laughs> it's an X-Men costume. More, more precisely, a Wolverine costume. All over print. That's very cool. That's very cool. <laughs> I don't know where to put that. All right, all right, calm down. I can almost hear you telling me where to put that. Right, so that's that box emptied. Let's open the next box. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Do you guys know what this is? Hmm? Now, there's one missing there, isn't there? There's a wing missing there, a fin. Missiles. Fire out. Do they fire out? No, not quite. Oh, they, oh, they just pop forward. So it's not something special like it's got missiles that are normally missing. It's got missiles that can't go missing. Oh, it's got figures that do come out. Which I'm going to take a stab in the dark and guess that they're normally missing. I'm also going to guess that they normally break off. I only got the one figure. Ugh, look at that. Ew. Gunk. 
but it's Mattel. 1978, I think this is Battlestar Galactica. Not a ship that's seen in the series though, because they're the only first one where, didn't they? Well, there we are, there's that. I think I've spent enough time on that one. We have a rather kinky looking um, spider bear. Look out, here comes the spider bear. Boom. Got a logo on there. Bears Inc. Will they stand up? Come on, you've got big fat feet, you should stand up. Yeah, there we go. There's a random Ertle, I'm guessing it's Ertle. Yeah, Ertle, Diecast, Batman the Animated Series Police Helicopter. Looks to be in fairly good condition as well. Cool. Um, okay. Collect them all. It says on the back here. And, oh! There isn't six, is there? No. No, there isn't six unfortunately. But says collect them all. These are long before my time. But am I right thinking that these are action jacks? I'm fairly sure these are action jacks. Got the accessories as well. Okay, so this one is the security patrol. The accessories differ in colour to the one shown on the... Is that actually what was included with the package or is it just a print off? It's probably just a print off, isn't it? Yeah, different colour. Oh, right, okay. We've got some vintage action jacks. Also that guy. Looks like he's sort of a little yellow. Yeah, I'm not going to get these out, I think I'll end up losing the accessories. Emergency Doctor. Wow. More bits and pieces. That's a diver, isn't it? Yeah, sea Rescue. Those colours are awesome. Look at them colours! They're brilliant. Commander. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a telephone, isn't it? Yeah. The receiver. Another in the sea guy, I'm guessing. Oh, well, it calls me an axe. Oh, is it a fireman? Firefighting, yeah. How oh, cool! How oh, cool are those guys? <laughs> I just pulled this out of the box. It was upside down. I was like, well, what on earth is that? And then when I turned it over, it became quite evident. It's Bruce Lee! <laughs> that a Mini Mates? Art Asylum, yeah, it's Mini Mates. Cool. Slightly larger than most Mini Mates. That's brilliant. A bit dusty. And then we have a normal size Mini Mates, also Dusty Venom. Very cool. Oh, he's dead. Put him with Spider Bear and he'll knock Spider Bear over. Stand up. There we go. That's, uh, that's that. What else is in this box? Wow. Okay. There's a couple of Warhammer pieces. That was good. That was a couple of Warhammer pieces. This one's still sealed. I don't even know if that one's still in production now, Eldar Guardians. That's a vintage one, isn't it? Can we see a year anywhere? I reckon eight. It's... Oh, 96. It's a bit later than I thought. Still a, an older one, though. Goblins. Damaged the box there. It's a shame. Right, well, that's more than what should be in the box. 
that should be in there, some kind of chariot or battle wagon of some kind. So there should have bows and arrows or spears and... There we go, that's what's supposed to be in the box. That one there. So that battle wagon thing and these, I think are extras. I don't know actually. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Right, so there's supposed to be five archers and five spearsmen. They're all archers. They're all spearsmen. And there's more than five in there. And there's certainly a lot more than five in there. That's very cool. Christ, we're already at 40 minutes here. That's on my recording part yeah maybe I'll I'll save some of this other stuff for another time well dive in. we've got a transformer we've got a transformer I think this is energon is it overload it's either overload or overlord something like that interesting because it was a take that out. oh he's missing a little bit of his leg lock I say his leg because you don't even know that's his leg do you can transform. <laughs> of course, it can transform. It's a transformer. And this part of it can also transform. And when you do, the arms pop out there. He's missing a leg. That's such a shame, is that? That was quite a hard one to find. Although, I suppose it's still all there in big guy mode, isn't it? Combined mode. Oh, I've taken it out now and I can't get it back in. Oh, my word. My days. And now that other leg's just dropped in. There we go. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I'm going to do my leg. Um, and we've got some... I used to love these back when they were out and about. Star Wars Action Fleet by Micro Machines by Galoob. That's an A-Wing. Comes on the sand. I used to love them. I had them all. Maybe not all of them, but I had lots of them. Lots and lots of them. And... We have some Star Wars vintage die-cast, believe it or not. We've got an X-Wing. And it's got all four of the cannons. A bit bent. Might need to heat them up to straighten them out. Got the cockpit canopy. You can imagine they're normally missing and broken up. <laughs> Those guns make it look drunk. <laughs> We've got a twin pod cloud car from Bespin. That's got both its feet as well. That's good. Excellent. And my favourite out of these ones is the Y Wing. Slightly yellowed engines. Oh, it looks like it's had some repair done. Look. See there. Although that hasn't broken. Oh, it's broken there. So it's broken there, and then all three round there. That's a shame. Still nice though. Bearing in mind these are what, 78? 79? 1979. I think it's done well to survive that long. Very good. Very good. We've got a couple more vintage pieces here. Thundercats. Laser, sa laser sabers. Laser sabers, that's it. But I hope they haven't got batteries in. Oh, oh, maybe they have got batteries in. There's no light going on there. How'd you get into them? I want to take the batteries out. <laughs> I'll be doing that later. We're taking the batteries out. So we've got the blue one, we've got the orange one. 
that one's not doing anything either. Not with no batteries in it. Yeah. Vintage Thundercats toys. Not so easy to find. Oh, we've got a vintage Star Wars figure. Max Rebo. He's faded badly, isn't he? Look at him. Look at him. It's supposed to be all that colour. Well, it's supposed to be a, bit, a much brighter blue than that, actually. Don't come with his mates, though. Oh, we've got another Y Wing. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. We have another Y Wing. It's the vintage one. And it does have four of the struts and the engine part and another engine part. It's got two of the strut pegs broken off inside there. But if I'm right, yeah, more importantly. You guys that know already know what's coming out of here, don't you? More importantly, it has the bomb. Which is always missing. It's got both parts of the bomb as well. Very, very good. And this was just stored in a box on the top floor of the shop, just randomly. Now I have another Y-Wing somewhere that is missing one of these struts, so if it's, I did them in two colours, a darker grey and this light grey. If it's the same grey, at least I can complete one of them. We've got another vintage Star Wars vehicle here. And then I think after this I'm going to save the rest of them for another, another quiet week, because I think there's plenty to show you already, isn't it? So, last item, not complete unfortunately, it's Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. It's got both the canopy doors, there you would put the figure, but is missing the battery cover, alas. And also is missing the little cover there, the housing for the LED. And also, sadly, both of the hooks in there have broken to hold the wings in. So someone's actually tried gluing the wings on, you can see there. But still, for 1978, 79 toys, it's still there, isn't it? Still there. Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. Oh, give you a quick shifty around at it all. <laughs> I do like that, Bruce Lee. <laughs> I do. Well that's it for this week, as usual if you saw anything that you want or if you have anything to sell me or if you just want to share some nostalgic gems, drop it in the comment section below or you can reach out to us via the Facebook page Cosmic Toys or you can even email me at CosmicToyShop at gmail.com. Now remember to like and subscribe and ring my ding if you want to be notified of future content. Much love guys, thanks for watching, see you next time.
never thought I'd get to play it being Boba Fett. Not at my age, anyway. These are made for much smaller hands than mine, I can tell you. Almost hurt. <laughs> Get you, droid. <laughs> oh, Kylo's dead. Oh, I wanted the stormtrooper. Next time. Next time, you're mine.